Hey guys, Aaron Farmer here with MySugarFreeJourney.com. I'm here for a Weight Loss Wednesday. So as of this morning, I am at 234.6 pounds. Uh, the interesting thing about that is my weight has really gone crazy, up and down, uh, fluctuated really wildly all over the last two weeks. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. Um, I mean, that happens, but I'm not used to I'm not used to the weight going up and down as much. In fact. You know, right, right shy of 235 is the highest I've been in a while. Um, so I, I honestly don't know what's going on there. But that's that's where I'm at this morning, 234.6 pounds. Um, so those of you that have watched a couple of these, you know that from time to time I like to do little experiments, um, mostly around uh, two things, my weight and my blood pressure. I'm always wanting to experiment with things to see if, see if there are ways that I can improve both my weight and my blood pressure. So I'm doing one right now where I am, I've cut out tea um, because I just had an interview with, uh, I just blanked on his name, uh, somebody for my podcast and I forget his name. And um, he mentioned that some of his clients that had high blood pressure were able to see improvement when they cut out tea from their diet um, because of the tannins in tea were uh, affected, you know, that raised their blood pressure. So I thought, well, you know, couldn't hurt. So I'm going uh, probably a month without tea. I've been doing that for like the last week or so. Um, so far, really no change in my blood pressure, but I think it'll take 30 days maybe to really see a difference. So I'm checking that out. But also August, I've decided that August is, is the month of OMAD. We're calling it Project OMAD. So OMAD starts for one meal a day. And for the month of August, I'm gonna just eat one meal a day and see what happens. Um, I've heard, you know, this, these long, you know, 23 and a half hour intermittent fasting intervals do really, really well for some people, um, in terms of both weight loss and other health improvements, you know, like I said, both of which I'm, you know, both of which I'm always looking for. Um, I've been doing one meal a day every once in a while, uh, like, especially on the days that I have to work. Uh, but usually on my days off, I'll go back to three meals a day and, and even on, even on the days when I eat one meal a day, sometimes I'll have a snack or something in the evening before I go to bed. So I'm going to cut all that out, just do one meal of mostly meat and um, see uh, see what happens. Um, so I'll be tracking that as we go through the month, and I'll let you guys know what's happening. Um, I There's a couple reasons why I want to do it. First of all, I just want to see if I can do it. I mean, uh, you know, I've, I've certainly intermittent fasted before, and... and uh, I've seen a lot of health benefits from it, but you know, I just want to see if I can go a whole month of just one meal a day, see what happens. I mean, it's not going to hurt me. Uh, second, um, I feel like sometimes, especially in my days off, sometimes I'll eat just because I've run out of other things to do. Like I'll be sitting here on my blog and you know, working on my blog or watching a little TV or doing something else, and I'll just my my head will just be running through all the food in the in the kitchen or and in you know, the pantry or you know thinking of all the things that I could be eating, you know, maybe a little snack on, you know, next to me so that I can, you know, snack on something while I'm, while I'm, you know, working or whatever. And so I'd like to get that under control and uh, see, uh, see if, see if there's something I can do about that. Also, you know, I want to lose these, this last 40 or 50 pounds. Um, I'm not happy with the way this weight, uh, about 35 pounds has crept on me over the last year. I'm not happy with that. Uh, this weight needs to to go away. Uh, I've already lost it once, and it drives me nuts that it's come back. Uh, I realize that 230, 235, 240 is probably my body's natural set point, um, and that if I want to be lower than that, like lower than 200, which is really where I want to be, uh, that it's going to take uh, it's going to take a fight. Like I'm going to have to I'm going to have to fight with my body to get it below that that kind of natural set point. That's that because it seems like that's where my body wants to settle is right about between 230 and 240. Um, I don't want it to settle there. I'd like for it to settle about 180, um, but that seems so far away. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get there, but uh, I can certainly get it back below 200. That's that's where I want to be is back below 200. So that's that's what I'm going to do for the month of August. I don't expect to be up below 200, you know, by the end of August, but. I, I want to do this experiment and just see what happens. So one meal a day in the month of August, see what happens. I'm still doing no tea. Um, I still drink, you know, an occasional, uh, you know, soft drink, whatever, like like a diet coke or whatever. 
I know that's probably not the healthiest thing to do, but you know, there's only so many things you can cut out of your diet <laughs> before you before it makes you a little crazy. So that's what I'm doing this month, uh, one meal a day. And like I said, keep you know keep an eye here at Weight Loss Wednesday. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel, give it a like, um, and uh, the uh, you'll be able to to follow along as as I do this. And then at the end of the month, uh, we'll come back and see what happened over the course of the month. All right, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will talk to you all uh, next week. Bye-bye.